Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, whatever time of day you're watching this. Welcome back to the channel, 6D Outdoors. Well, today we are gonna fire up the B2301 and do a little reorganization here in the shop. Uh, I gotta pull that trailer out and uh, I'm gonna use a tractor with that. I got um, a hitch that we're gonna put on a three point, which I'll show you here in a little bit, and pull that trailer out and set it outside because we have another project we're going to work on. I purchased something last weekend that uh, it's going to actually be pretty cool, I think. Uh, we're going to add it to the channel here, considering, um, you know, this channel just isn't about tractors and things like that. So mainly it will be about, you know, the B23 and all that. But I'll go ahead and show you guys what we bought here. We bought a 2000 Jeep Wrangler. So what we got here is, uh, like I said, it's the 2000 Jeep Wrangler. I think these are the, the TJs, I believe. Uh, it's in fairly decent condition. It's got really nice wheels and tires on it. Uh, it does need a new new top, um, which I'm gonna order here pretty soon. Top's pretty rotted out and shot. Um, the guy who owned it before me, I guess his dog tried to get out, tore a hole in it. On that, but um, yeah, it's actually in pretty decent shape. It has 167,000 miles on it. It has the 4.0 liter uh, straight six motor. It's a manual five speed, which is what I wanted. Um, the reason I got this was I sold uh, my four wheeler this spring at a 2018 Sportsman 570. Uh, it was a great little four wheeler, but um, for one person, it, it worked out all right, but I do a lot of hunting and stuff, and I needed a rig that I could get around in and stay warm in as well. Um, my, me and my sister, we do a lot of hunting and stuff, and this would be a fun little rig for the family as well. We'd take the top off and cruise around here in the summertime and have some fun and stuff with it. So, But we got to, uh, pulling into the shop, we got to put some new O2 sensors in it, which... I've done the front one, the upflow already, but I still got to do the, the downflow or the down downstream. But I got to remove the cross member out from underneath it so I get better access to it. It's pretty, it's stuck in there pretty good. But no, I just wanted to show you guys this little, this little Jeep here and what I got. And uh, yeah, so we'll get busy. We've got a lot of stuff to reorganize here. So I'll get the tractor set up with the hitch and get the mower moved here and get this ballast box out of the way. So this is another project I've been working on and unfortunately I had video of it and me putting this together and uh, lost it all when I lost my phone if you guys watched my very first video out. But what I did here was I put a hitch on it, well a, a plate to it and since the metal is, is so thin on these right here you know, it's only eighth inch metal. I welded some gussets and stuff in there in the bottom. So don't judge my welding, please. I'm not I'm not a very good welder, but I can get, get it so it gets enough of it and able to make it work. So, all right, well, hope you guys stick around. We'll get these things moved out.
is a king cutter, a three-point hit. So I picked it up at a, our, uh, picked it up at North Forty, which is our like tractor supply store and stuff here in Washington. Uh, like I said, it's uh, the king cutter. It's uh, made in the USA, which is good. Uh, for king cutter, it's technically kind of the cheaper um, manufacturer, but man, their stuff is heavy duty. I'll tell you what, I mean, I don't know how heavy that is, but it's pretty heavy. I'd say it's probably equal to, it's probably built like one of them heavy hitches, I would think. So, like I said, it's got the, the gooseneck ball on it, so... You know, if you needed to tow a gooseneck or something like that, it's uh, for farming. So it's pretty dang heavy duty. I'll go to the pickup and get the get the stinger put in it and uh, get this trailer here moved out of the way. Get that paddle board off of there too. <clears throat> All right, well, we got the hitch hooked up to the three point. We got the we got the stinger put in there, so we'll back up and see if this works. I haven't tried it. trailer moved <clears throat> out of the way. I just stuck it out here behind the shed here and I put a lock on the hitch and but they're gonna have to go through my yard and all that to try and get it out so hopefully no one tries to take it. Well, let's get back over to the shop. Got the trailer moved out and stopped back over in the corner there. 
It's uh, it's hot here, man. It's about 103 was what the thermometer said there in the house. And yeah, it's super smoky here. Well, it's smoky all over the place in the country. So there you go. But yeah, we'll get the we'll get the jeep fired up and get it moved over in here. And this one. Got to see me struggle, ride the struggle bus there a little bit. So, uh, yeah, like I said, needs new O2 sensors on it. And um, I got the front one, the upstream. That one was fairly easy to get. But the back one, the cross member is right on top of it, right? You know, right in the way. So the only way to really get to it is to remove that cross member and uh be able to get a better angle on it. I tried to get it without removing it and it started to round the, the bolt or the nut there and stuff. So it's gonna be a struggle. So probably gonna have to hit it with a little bit of heat and hopefully it'll come out of there. Got some PB blaster and but yeah, we'll see what we can do with it. Um, if not, I'll haul it to the mechanic and hopefully he can figure it out. So, all right, well, I'm going to get the tractor and everything else put away here. Appreciate you guys. Like I said, watching me ride the struggle bus here a little bit with everything. So, but at least you got to see the tractor in action and uh, got to see the new toy. Hopefully, if I could uh, get it running well. So, all right, everybody. Well, I hope you're all doing well out there. Staying cool in this heat and hopefully we can get these fires under control, especially around here and the Northwest and up in Canada too and get some of the smoke taken care of, but It's not over yet Still got another month or two of this stuff here. So the calm for rain. Hopefully Sunday and Monday Got 50% chance right now. So cross your fingers. Oh, man. We need it bad Anything would be helpful right now. So All right enough about me complaining about the weather. All right guys. Well Hope you're all doing well. Like I said and uh, you guys take care and all the best. We'll catch you on the next one.